<clears throat> All right, YouTube fam, it's your boy Ray back here for some more Tiberium Sun one on one action. Hopefully, this time uh, versus Tiger and, uh, and Trooper. So, hopefully, uh, the audio actually works this time. Um, I've turned down the in game volume uh, so that you're able to hear me and uh, not the. Uh, not the sounds of uh, of TS. So, all right, let's jump into this. We've got game one uh, versus Tiger versus Trooper, both GDI on the map Terrace, uh, top left versus bottom right. This should be an exciting game. These guys are both phenomenally good GDI players, probably playing um, at the peak right now of their abilities. So we should see. Uh, um, if, if this game, if it's going to go long or if it's going to go short, I don't know. Let's let's find out. Again, this game is brought to you by uh, the ex excellent folks over at uh, Tiberium Sun Adventures, uh, TSA shoutouts uh, to my boys uh, Humble and Joe and Black and TRZ and Cambria. Y'all know what's up, so... Was uh, talking to um, to Sean, earlier, and we were t were discussing about you know um, how we could bring back like the clan system back to Tiberium Sun, and how that how that used to make uh, you know competition you know so fun exciting and it and it and it you know brought in new players and it and it kept like you know old players um, from leaving because you had this competitive uh, clan system that you could create and compete and, and have fun with so we're trying to find a way to to bring that back um kind of similar to like the old like westwood online uh clan system that they had and you know in an attempt to one you know just make the game more exciting for uh, for current players but also to to keep you know new players to attract new players and also to entice new players to come back I firmly believe that in order for this game to, you know, remain relevant and, and uh, have some longevity, uh, you're going to need it in, in an active clan, uh, a ladder system, basically. Uh, something that's going to, like, you know, keep new players from coming. I mean, these new guys, they, like, you play an RTS game, like, if you look at StarCraft, right? If you look at, you know, I can't think of another example, but, like, some of the other, like, Westwood Online games. Um, they all have a ladder system that one is work like works two like people actually play and Although TS does have a you know 1v1 ladder um, What it doesn't have is the old 2v2 3v3 clan ladders that you know really did make the game more exciting. So anyways, hopefully that can become a, um, a Topic for discussion we can play so all right, let's let's focus on the game here uh, it's like Tigers our trooper here has gone uh, a four refinery, war factory, he's got two harvesters out, he's going getting a radar. Uh, he's wisely using these cliffs to his advantage, while Tiger has split his infantry rushes. Uh, forces. Looks like he's going seven refinery, war factory, uh, and trooper is open. Trooper using these disc men to keep those infantry at bay. Uh, and just patiently, like he's salmoning up. I think he thinks top left is going uh, for the two disruptors, which he is not. But top left has got seven, seven harvesters. Uh, about to be an eighth and a ninth coming out soon. He's, he's going full eco. Uh, he's going to be able to just pump a mad amount of units um, here pretty soon. He's holding off his infantry while he builds up his economy, and he's, Sending this harvester out to get some of that blue tip, and looks like he's going Titans radar and building up his factory. Troop, the sitting on uh, six Titans, he's teched up. He's on two refineries, but he's got six harvesters going here. Uh, uh, I think he needs another refinery uh, just to maximize his economy, but. I think he still thinks that top left is just going for disruptor, so it looks like he's he's setting himself up for a, a counter. Meanwhile, in top left is base. Tiger 
looking good, pumping, pumping units, controlling his Harveys. Uh, I have no idea if he has been scouted or not. Uh, I've been too busy talking about clans. Uh, but Trooper is going to send out this massive left uh, infantry rush. Uh, so we'll see what happens. It's going mammoth. Mammoth is ready. Killed a Sam up here in top left. Um, he's gonna I most likely send this mammoth up here and try to harass some harvesters. Um, top left is is teching, probably gonna get a mammoth of his own, and then looking to push out here and get this expand. Bottom left, or bottom right, excuse me, um, is probably making a refinery as well. Uh, and it's going to start expanding to catch up on some of the eco. So it looks like we're on nine harvesters, seven, eight, we're on eight harvesters versus shit, we are on nine harvesters versus Six harvesters. Nice. Mammoth control by Trooper. Takes out a Sam and four Titans. Saves his Mammoth. Has his infantry command. He's going to go charge that back up. Look at the Titan count here we've got. Nine Titans versus looks like about the same. That was that was a good move uh, by Trooper, killing those Titans and Sands. Took out two Sands. I lost a bomber. Lost this, but, uh, definitely an excellent exchange for Trooper. Tiger has a mammoth of his own. Here comes the attack. Titans. Titans, two bombs. Okay. Tiger here is looking to push out of his base, send some units out, and then expand out to this nice juicy patch of Tiberium. Bottom right, building bombers, pushing out, building up, you know, call me at this own. Top left has got the disruptor. We're about to see some fireworks. Will Trooper be able to defend? Oh, he sends the Mammoth to the top left to the expansion. Tiger sending the Mammoth right into the main to take the construction yard. Trooper gets the expansion. Tiger gets the KO. Oof. That, uh, well, shit. Oh, well, did that happen? Uh, okay, so Trooper still has three pads. He can build up, and his mammoth. Uh, he's quick about it. He's gonna maybe able to build up enough uh, to go ahead and kill Tiger. Um, top left needs to think about making a spare, and top left should be pretty concerned about just taking out bottom right's pads. Um, bottom right, of course, is spamming bombers and discmen, and sending all his units out in a last hurrah. MK's charged up. MK is ready. Yeah. Well, I don't want to rush it, but I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a, a GG. Um, I mean, it happens. That was a good attack. Really good attack with Tiger. Uh, usually, bottom spot wins on the terrace. That's two really nice defendants, but that was just that was just an excellent attack. Glad to see a good game.
Thank <laughs> you.